Hey YouTube, it's JP from Oracle Reptiles. How are you guys doing today? Uh, what we're going to do today is just uh, a quick video on moving some of our snakes around. Our snakes like the Centralian Python have outgrown their current enclosure, so we're going to move them to a bigger enclosure. Um, we'll just show you how we're going to set it up, um, tell you a little bit about the Centralian Python, and uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. Right, we've cleaned out the enclosure. Um, what I've done is I've sprayed it with Callingtons, which is a uh, very, very good um, spray for against any insects and stuff like that. Um, obviously, the cage has been left open for a few months. No one or no other snakes have been in it. So we've removed all the substrate, given it a good vacuum. Um, I'll wait 10 or 15 minutes so for the Callingtons to do its work. And then what I'll do is I'll spray it with F10. Um, it's a disinfectant that we use quite uh, prominently here in South Africa. Um, it's biodegradable, it's eco-friendly, and it works really, really well. So we'll give the cage a good spray out, um, let the, the F10 and Callingtons do their job, and then we'll move, put in the new substrate and introduce the snakes. All right, the substrate we use is uh, coca husk. Um, I think it's very similar to your, your repti chip that you guys get over there. It's a uh, very absorbent um, substrate, which is easy to spot clean. It's also very good at holding uh, humidity and moisture, which uh, obviously helps the animals a little bit. Um, we're going to scoop it up with this. It's, obviously, we've just cleaned it. We don't want to transfer any of the stuff from the substrate that we took out of the, the enclosure so give it a good clean some bleach just to make sure that it's uh, healthy and hygienic Right, for those of you not too familiar with the, the Bredel's Python, or as it's commonly known, the Centralian Python, this is her here. Um, named after Joseph Bredel, a crocodile conservationist from Australia, um, this python inhabits the central to northern parts of Australia, from Alice Springs up um, towards the Northern Territories. It's a relatively large um, member of the Morelia family. It uh, gets between two and three meters in length. It's obviously not venomous, it's a constrictor. Um, it kills by constriction. They have a very, very different coloration as well. A reddish brown color with this awesome patterning along their back. Very, very nice temperament. Um, Obviously, anything in the cage is considered food, but uh, once they're out the cage, absolute sweet um, Very, very, very um, different from, from most of the other Morelias and the carpet patterns. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel, like the videos. We're hopefully going to bring you lots more exciting stuff. If you're a fan of South African species, and we do have an amazing diversity of uh, reptiles in South Africa, 
we want to share a lot of those with you in the future. So yeah, please subscribe and like and we'll see you soon.